Hello everyone and welcome to Python and Scientific Computing Tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn how to perform symbolic integration in Python. We will learn how to compute definite and indefinite integrals in Python by using the symbolic Python library called SymPy. But before I start with explanations I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this video tutorial as well as more than 400 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Ok, let's start. First, we will learn how to solve this relatively simple integral in Python. Over here we have a quadratic function and if we integrate this function we obtain x to the power 3 divided by 3 plus c where c is a constant. Let's try to solve this integral in Python. Ok, let's start. As always, the first step when writing a Python script is to import the necessary libraries and necessary functions. In this video tutorial, we will be using the SymPy library. I will import the complete library together with its functions and its objects. Consequently, I will type the following. From SymPy, that's the name of the library, import star. Star means that we are importing everything, that is, all the functions, objects, and packages. Next, I will call this function init printing. This function is used to generate nice prints of our symbolic expressions, integrals, derivatives, etc. The next step is to define our symbolic variable. The name of the variable will be x and I will be using the SymPy function symbol to define a symbolic variable. Consequently, I will type symbol and over here I will give a character for the name of the symbol. It is x. Perfect. Next, let's define our quadratic function. I will call the function as function1 and over here I will simply type x double star 2. Note that in Python if you want to take a power of a variable or of an expression you will use double star. Ok, let's evaluate this script. Here it is. Now if you type here function, function 1 you will see nice expression over here x squared. You can do also something like this print function 1. Perfect. Now let's learn how to integrate this function in Python. I will type y and y will be the output of integration process. Then I will use the function integrate from the SymPy library. Then the first input argument of this function is our function under the integral. It's a squared function defined over here and the second input argument is the name of the variable that's used for integration. It's x. Let's evaluate this expression and let's see the result. Here it is. x to the power 3 divided by 3. Note over here that we are missing the integration constant, but that's fine. Let's now double check the integration process. Now, if we take the derivative of the function y, we should actually obtain the function called function 1. So let's do that. To differentiate functions in SymPy, we need to use the function diff. So I will type something like this. Function 2 will be diff. Then over here, I will specify as the first argument y function, since I want to take the first derivative of y and I want to take the first derivative of y with respect to x. So consequently over here as the second input argument I will type x. So let's see the result. And here's function 2. Okay, now let's do this to validate the result. Function 1 should be equal to function 2 or their difference should be equal to 0. And let's see. Here it is. Perfect. So this function integrate works as expected. 
Let us now challenge the SymPy library by trying to solve this integral. Here is the integral and here is the solution. This integral is solved by using substitution. Let's implement the solution in Python. Over here, for the clarity of this video tutorial, I will write the integral that we want to solve. Integral of x over square root of 1 minus 4x squared dx is equal to minus 1 over 4 square root of 1 minus 4 x to the power 2 plus c. Okay, let's try to solve this integral in Python. We have already defined the symbolic variable x, so we don't need to redefine it. Let's define this function x over square root of 1 minus 4 x squared. I will call this function as function 3. And the function 3 is x over sqrt, that's the function for the square root. Then I have over here 1 minus 4 multiplying x to the power 2. Here it is. And let's simply verify that the function has the correct form. Perfect. That's exactly this function. Now, let's integrate this function. To integrate this function, we'll type this. The result of integration will be variable y2. I will call the function integrate. The first input argument is function 3. Then, the second input argument is the integration variable. And here it is. And let's see the function y2, and let's compare the results. Here it is, here is the result, perfect. Of course, we are missing the integration constant c. Let's now verify this result. To verify this result, we will compute the derivative of the function y2. I will define function 4, and the function 4 will be the derivative of the function y2 with respect to x. And let's see the result. Here is function 4, perfect, and that's exactly this function. However, we can also do something like this, function 4 minus function 3, and the result should be 0. Here it is, it's 0, perfect. Now, let us challenge the SymPy library by trying to solve integrals involving trigonometric functions. We will try to compute this integral and the solution is given over here. And let's implement the solution in Python. For clarity, here's the integral and the solution. Let's first define the function 10x. To do that, we will define a new function, let's say function 5, and the function 5 will be 10x. Okay, now I will define y3 and that will be the result of integration and I will type integrate over here I'm integrating function 5 with respect to x okay let's see the result here's function 5 it's a 10 function and let's see the result y3 it's given over here now compare this result with the result given over here here I need to make a few important comments. In Python, ln is actually log. That is the base logarithm where the base is e. And we can see over here that we are missing the absolute value. So keep in mind that, that once you're integrating a variable like this and the result involves ln, you need to add an absolute value since logarithm that is, ln function is not defined for negative values of its argument. Keep in mind that. The results are equivalent. Now, let's verify these results. How to do that? Let's define function 6. And this function will be the first derivative of our function y3. That is, of the result of integration. And we are integrating with respect to x. Here's the function 6. Uh -huh. It's a sinus over x 
over cosinus over x. Okay, so let's try to type this function. 6 minus function 5. This should be equal to 0. However, here is the result. Uh -huh. Here is the problem. The SymPy library didn't simplify this expression. Since this expression is equal to 0, to do that, you will simply type simplify over here. And this will simplify the expression. And finally, here it is. It's equal to 0. Perfect. Next, we will learn how to compute definite integrals in Python. Let's start with the simplest possible case in order to verify the integration process. If we take the function 1 and if we integrate this function with the limits starting from 1 to 3, we should obtain 2. So let's do that. Over here, we will define the function, let's call it function 7, is equal to 1. Then, I'm going to define the function y3, or the result y3, let's call it y4 actually, and we'll type integrate. Then. Over here, we need to specify the function, function 7, that's equal to 1. And over here, I need to create a tuple. The first entry of this tuple is actually the variable x, that is the variable that's used for integration. Then the second argument is the lower bound for integration, it's 1. And the upper bound for the integration is the third argument of the tuple, or the third entry of the tuple, it's equal to 3. And let's see the result. Here it is. y4 is equal to 2. Perfect. Next, let us compute this definite integral. I will take a cosinus function, and the limit should be 0 and 2 pi. The result is sinus x with these bounds from 0 to 2 pi, and that's equal to 0. So let's implement that. Let's define, for example, function 8 is equal to cosine of, of x, and let's say y phi is integrate function 8, then the tuple comes in, x is the integration variable, the first argument is the, actually the second entry of the tuple is the bound 0, the lower bound is 0, the upper bound is 2 pi, and let's see the result. Here I made a small spelling error, let me correct for that. Okay, actually I need to evaluate everything, and let's see, y5 is equal to 0. And as the final example, in this video tutorial, we will solve this integral. x dx, where the bounds are 0 and 3. Consequently, I will define function 9 to be equal to x. Then y6 will be integrate. Then the name of the function is function 9. And here's the tuple. First argument is x. And the bounds are, let's see, from... 0 to 3. And let's see the result. Here it is, 9 over 2. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.